Welcome to Tech Talk Tuesday, brought to you by Idaho Public Television and Montana PBS. Good afternoon. Welcome to Tech Talk Tuesday. We are going to be talking about end of the year ideas as we head into the final months of the school year. I'm Nikki Bradenberg, and I'm the Director of Education at Montana PBS, and I'll let my colleague introduce herself. Hi, thanks for uh, coming today. I'm Carrie Wardle. I'm the Education Manager at Idaho Public Television. So Nikki and I have similar roles at our respective stations. I'm excited to share some of our fun end of the year activities with you. Yeah, Carrie and I both come from teaching backgrounds, and so a lot of the things we're going to show you are from our classrooms back when we were teaching. What do, I think it's been, has it been four years now since we've been in the classroom? It has. Yeah, these are oldie but goodies. These That's are right. Good. Some things are timeless. <laughs> and then we'll share uh, the resources that PBS has to offer um, teachers and families as they get ready for summer. So one of the ideas we wanted to share with you was the idea of making a digital memory book using Google Slides or Google Drawings. And these are actually, I've seen examples of these happen um, from lots of different classrooms. And this was something I even did with my own classroom. And I'm gonna give you an example of how I did this. Um, in one of my classrooms, I had an end of the year celebration when I taught kindergarten and first grade. Um, and it was, uh, we did a little graduation ceremony at the end of the year. And I always displayed a slideshow with reflections and shared that and parents were invited and um, the rest of the school was invited. And so the reflections for first graders was I had them tell me the best part about first grade and what they were looking forward to in second grade. And then I put it together on a slide and these pictures, I covered them up just to protect these kiddos, but this was the first day of school picture that I remembered to take when the school year started. Some years were better than others on that one. Um, and then this was a, a picture taken at the very end of the school year. Um, that always got um, a nice response from parents because to really see that side-by-side -side comparison of just how they grow and change during the school year. Now, my first graders this year dictated to me what their sentence said, um, or they wrote it on a piece of paper and I went and typed it in. Um, but my, or I should say my kindergartners did that. My first graders did type in their responses, but my kindergartners, they um, dictated to me or wrote it down on paper and I typed it in um, and we would go through all of these. And then I often shared the link to these slides with their families so they would have them for later. I've, I've since saved these and when these kids some of these kids are going through eighth grade graduation this year, and I've shared this slideshow with the teacher who oversees that, um, and they'll be using some of these in that eighth grade ceremony as well. So looking back to their first year at the school. So um, one of the fun things we can do at smaller schools for sure. Back to my slides here. Now, the other option I've seen with this is to have a collaborative slide deck where every kid has their own slide in the Google slide deck and they're challenged to decorate their slide, uh, reflecting on the school year, sharing things that they're going to that they learned or thinking about thinking forward to what they're looking forward to in the next year ahead um, and using as little text as possible using mostly images to describe their school year. And kids have a lot of fun uh, visually representing what they've learned. I've also seen it where this is a, a shared book where the kids have a slide that's theirs and just has their picture. And then each class member goes and types in text uh, on that child's slide, um, usually a compliment or something they like about that child or a memory that they have. And so when you display the slide deck, it has a child's picture in the middle and then there's all these text boxes surrounding the picture um, with, the, with those compliments. My daughter's teacher did one last year with Google Drawings where she, at the end of, I think it was the last few weeks of school, every day she had a student of the day and she did something like that using Google Drawing. Child's picture was in the middle 
everybody collaborated over that one drawing and typed in nice things about that child. And then she shared the link with them. And, the, and so they had that as a memory. So a, another nice option for a digital memory book. And anything on Google Slides and Google Drawing could be printed too. So um, those things could be printed and, and taken home um, to have the hard copies as well. So some nice ideas for digital memory books.